In this lesson, we are going to find equations of parabolas. Suppose that we want to find the equation of a parabola with focus at 0, 4 and the electrics, y equals negative 4. Whenever you have problems like this, it is good to draw so that you can imagine what's going on. Our focus here is at 0, 4. See, this is our 4 and the directrix is y equals negative 4. Let's say this line, this is y equals negative 4. The distance between the focus and the directrix here is equal to 8. However, what is that point exactly in between this two? That would be your vertex, which means that your vertex has to be the origin. This distance is equal to 4. This distance is equal to 4 as well. What is this 4 over here? That is your A. Remember that the distance between the focus and the vertex is precisely equal to A. And since your directrix is y equals negative 4, your parabola is going up. The parabola contains your focus. The axis of symmetry is y, so we have x squared equals 4ay. The axis of symmetry is the y-axis, so that's why the exponent of y is 1, and we have x squared. And the vertex is the origin. We already know that a is equal to 4, so therefore the equation of the parabola is x squared equals 16y. Next, let us find the equation of a parabola with vertex at 0, 0. If its axis of symmetry is the x-axis and its graph contains the point negative 1 half 2, find its focus and directrix and graph the equation. Our vertex here is again the origin. Its axis of symmetry is the x-axis. So therefore, it's opening to the left or to the right, and its graph contains the point negative 1 half 2. See, this is negative 1 half and this is 2. Hence, the parabola is like this. If it's opening to the left, what is the form of this one? Which variable is raised to 2? Y. So, our equation is y squared is equal to 4 a x and we would expect a to be negative how do we solve for a we just plug in this point the point negative one half two lies on the graph so therefore it satisfies the equation of the parabola our y here is two so this is two squared is equal to four a times negative one half Hence, our a is equal to negative 2. The equation of the parabola is y squared is equal to 4 times negative 2. That's negative 8x. This problem asks also for the focus and directrix. What is our focus? Recall that the focus is inside your parabola and it's always equal to absolute value of a units away from the vertex. Since our a is negative 2, we have negative 2 here. That would be your focus. Our focus is the point negative 2, 0. The directrix is absolute value of a units away from the vertex. And therefore, that is x equals to this line. Next, find an equation of the parabola with vertex at negative 2, 3. So we already have our hk. That's negative 2, 3. And focus at 0, 3. Again, let us draw what is given. This is our vertex. Negative 2, 3. And our focus of 0, 3. What does this tell us? It tells us the value of A. A is the distance between the vertex and 
the focus, and this distance here is equal to 2. Hence, we get that A is equal to 2. What is the opening of your parabola? The parabola must contain your focus. So it's opening to the right. What is the equation of that parabola? Which exponent is squared? It will be y. The axis of symmetry is parallel to the x-axis, which means that x appears with exponent 1. So we have x minus h. Then I have my 4a, and it is y, which is being squared. Plugging in the values, we get y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 times 2 times x plus 2. This is the equation of our parabola. Since we are asked to graph the equation, let us find the latus rectum. The latus rectum is 2a units away from the focus. So therefore, this is equal to 4 and this is equal to 4. So what is this? This is 3 plus 4, so this should be 7. And then 3, go down by 4 units, this one has to be negative 1. Therefore, the endpoints of your lattice rectum are the points 0, 7, and 0, negative 1. Next, let us find the equation of the parabola with lattice rectum negative 4, 1, and 2, 1. Here are the points negative 4, 1, and 2, 1. Now, take note that if this is the case, there are two possible parabolas. Your parabola can be either going up, or it's going down, like this one. What are the things that we need for our parabola? We need our A and our vertex. Recall that the distance between the two endpoints of the lattice rectum is equal to 4 times the absolute value of A. What is the distance between these two points? It's equal to 2 minus negative 4. So that's 6. So we get that the absolute value of A is equal to 3 halves. Therefore, we get that A is equal to 3 halves or A is equal to negative 3 halves. So this is consistent with what we got for the parabola opening upwards. This is the case when a is equal to 3 halves. And when the parabola is going downwards, this is the case when A is equal to negative 3 halves. What would be the vertex? In order to get our vertex, we have to get first our focus. And the focus is just the midpoint of these two points. What is the midpoint of these two points? The focus would be 3 units away from the point, negative 4, 1. So this will be negative 1. Our focus is negative 1, 1. Now that we have our focus, we can get our vertex. Recall that the focus and the vertex are just A units away from each other. So if it's 1 here, we have to go down by 3 halves units. And therefore, what is this Y coordinate here? It's 1 minus 3 halves. So that's negative one half. For this case, the absolute value of A is three halves. So therefore, this one here is one plus three halves. This is five halves. For the first case, our vertex is negative one, negative one half. Whereas for the second case, our vertex is negative 1, 5 halves. Which variable will be squared in our equation? Is it x or is it y? It's going to be x. So we have x minus h, so that's x plus 1 squared, is equal to 4 times 3 halves, so that's 6 times y plus 1 half. For this parabola, we have 
x plus 1 squared is equal to negative 6 times y minus 5 halves. Next, find the equation of the parabola whose axis of symmetry is the y-axis, directrix y equals 3, and lattice rectum of length 4. What can we get from our given? The axis of symmetry is the y-axis. So therefore, this tells us that our vertex lies on the y-axis. Our vertex hk is of the form 0k. Your h is already known to be equal to 0. Let us suppose that this is my directrix y equals 3. What can we get from lattice rectum of length 4? What is the length of the lattice rectum? That is 4 times the absolute value of a. And this is equal to 4. Hence, absolute value of a is equal to 1, which means that a is equal to 1 or a is equal to negative 1. This means that we have two possible equations. One is going to be opening upwards because a is equal to 1. The other one is opening downwards. I will be drawing both parabolas on the same Cartesian plane. For the case when a is equal to 1, the vertex will be at, this is 3, so therefore this is equal to 4. This is your vertex. The vertex is a units away from your directrix and this is going to be opening upwards. For the case when a is equal to negative 1, you just go one unit down. That would be your vertex, so therefore this is 2. And the parabola is going to open downwards. For the case a is equal to 1, what is the equation of that parabola? We have x squared. x is the one which is squared here. And again, your h is 0. This is equal to 4 times a times y minus k, which is 4. Our vertex here is 0, 4. For the other one, our vertex is 0, 2. For the second case, our equation is x squared is equal to 4 times negative 1. That's negative 4 times y minus 2. These are the two possible equations. For our last example, let us find the equation of the parabola satisfying the following condition. Vertex is on the y-axis, so this means that our h is 0. Axis of symmetry is parallel to the x-axis. This means that which one is squared? y is going to be squared here. So our form is y minus k squared is equal to 4a times x minus h, but h is 0, so this one. And it passes through the points 2, 2, and 8, negative 1. I plotted the points 2, 2, and 8, negative 1, so that we have an idea of how our parabola will look like. The vertex lies on the y-axis, so it's going to be something like this. Something like that. From this equation, we need to find a and k. Since we need to look for two variables, we need to set up two equations. And where will we get those two equations? From this given here. We are given two points, so therefore these two points must satisfy the given equation. Let us plug in the values for the point 2, 2. We have 2 minus k squared is equal to 4 times 2 times a. For the second one, negative 1 minus k squared is equal to 4 times 8a. I will solve for a on both equations. So for the first one, we have that a is equal to 2 minus k squared over 8. But from the second one, this is also equal to negative 1 minus k squared all over 32. Now, I will just consider this one equation in one variable to solve for k. 
Here is the equation that we obtained earlier. Take note that I replaced the square of negative 1 minus k by the square of 1 plus k. They are just the same. Let us multiply both sides by 32 to get rid of the denominator. So we get 4 times 2 minus k squared is equal to the square of 1 plus k. And expand. We have 4 times 4 minus 4k plus k squared is equal to 1 plus 2k plus k squared. Distributing the 4, we get 16 minus 16k plus 4k squared is equal to 1 plus 2k plus k squared. Since this is a quadratic equation, we set one side to 0. We get 4k squared minus k squared is 3k squared. Negative 16k minus 2k is minus 18k plus 16 minus 1. That's 15 is equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 3, we get k squared minus 6k plus 5 is equal to 0. And this can be factored as k minus 5, k minus 1, and therefore k is equal to 5 or k is equal to 1. Now that we have our k, we can solve for k by using either one of these two equations. I will just make use of this. If k is equal to 5, then our a will be equal to 2 minus 5 squared all over 8 is 9 eighths. If k is equal to 1, our a is 1 over 8. Hence, when k is equal to 5, our equation is y minus 5 squared is equal to 4 times 9 eighths x. If k is equal to 1, we have y minus 1 squared is equal to 4 eighths x or y minus 1 squared is equal to x over 2. I have here the graphs of the two equations that we obtained earlier. y minus 5 squared equals 9 halves x and y minus 1 squared equals x over 2. Both of them passes through the 2 points 2, 2, and 8, negative 1.